Our second team in best of the rest of 2010 Syracuse lacrosse season started last week as the back-to-back -back champs and they practiced for the first time in the Carrier Dome. Despite losing 11 seniors, the Cuse is still ranked second in the preseason polls and as Dan Moscarotolo tells us, the Orange is still equipped to fill in the gaps. And while Syracuse loses four All-Americans coming into this year, the Orange roster not really worried about it. In fact, the Syracuse players confident that they can pick up right where they left off last year. You know, with Sid gone, I think that I have the opportunity to take more of the leadership role, but I think that with the guys coming back with Terry and Lade, we have a lot of veteran uh, you know, leadership going on in the, on the defense, and I think whoever fills that third spot will step right in with us. Oh, well, Jovan Miller, uh, Jeff Gilbert, Jojo Marasco, Jeremy Thompson, Max Bardig, um, Steve Einzito. Uh, there's a lot of people that you know, will step in. And... I mean, obviously, Kenny is a big loss, and uh, but we still... I mean, we lost one guy, but we still have everyone pretty much from last year. We have a lot of depth and uh, a lot of things we can throw at other teams. So it's good to have a lot of uh, different people. Notable returners for Syracuse include Stephen Keogh, Matt Tierney, and John Galloway, making Syracuse very balanced on every aspect of the game, making a three-peat not a far too distant reality. Reporting inside the Carrier Dome, Dan Mascaratolo, Citrus TV. Can't wait for the season to start. Citrus TV's got you covered. Tune in to Citrus TV's ninth annual lacrosse preview show to see the team's thoughts on the upcoming season, an exclusive interview with Coach Desco, and who will be wearing number 22. Citrus TV's lacrosse preview show, The Charge to the Charm City, coming soon to Time Warner Channel 13. Be sure to check your local listings.